this is on recording. How people filled out. I, I don't right. know how people right. filled out that instead of, I mean, otherwise we're going to be hammering or sledgehammering stuff down into the ground and wherever we can and pulling them up. You know what I mean? This right. This was, this was with regards to a sign for someone who had received the beautification award. We were talking about possibly a, a different design and possibly a some type of way to affix it into the ground that was it doesn't it's going to be there for a month, but it's not going to be permanent. Right. So um, those I know that when during um, when everybody's doing all the campaigning, those things tend to work pretty well as long as we can, you know, really get them in solid. Yeah, I think the, the the thing is the size of the sign. I think the ones actually we have made, or those are pretty. They're not blowing all around, are they? Or that would no. uh, they're pretty so. strong because if we put yeah. them far down in the ground, right? And they're not uh -huh. big, massive ones that the wind can take. So I think something right. the same size would probably work out okay. All right. So the yeah. one down at Pi Four is still sitting there. Well, when I left to come down to Florida, it was sitting there looking good. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think we're better off just sticking with that type because okay. we're not, these are not permanent. We're going to be pulling them out and sticking them in different places. That's my okay. thought. Um, the other thing is I went and I um, I Googled uh, business beautification um, awards, right, <laughs> to, see, to see what the rest of the world was doing with their signs. Um, mm -hmm. They basic, basically very simple. Most of them just say, Business Beautification Award or Commercial Beautification Award presented by and either the name of the group or in our case, I'd like to see maybe our logo there just presented uh -huh. by Beautification. And then on the bottom, they simply said different things like thank you for beautifying our town or thank you for keeping your business beautiful, something like that. Um, okay. Very yeah, simple that people can read as they drive by. Right, and that's the me exactly the message we're trying to get out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that we notice and we're letting other people notice that that some that a business is making an effort. Right. So does so, does that side kind of sound like what people would want? I, I'll put together some examples and send them out if, if unless somebody has some uh, different ideas. Oh, I think that would be great. Okay, and we probably want our right, right, green our green simple. backs. I'm sorry. I think keeping it simple and um, to the point. And, um, and we want it on our green sign, our green sign, I take it? If, just, just to be a, a point of discussion, I I think if we're going to give an award for where we do the normal gardens, I agree we should have that sign, but I'd like to see the award step up a notch, like have a wooden or, or a some sort of better sign. I, I I can work with you, Sharon, on what my ideas are. But, okay. but, but I'd like to see this is an award, a step up a metal or wood sign that could be, that says award that would call attention to it. All right, but you know we're not giving them the award. The award. Correct. Right. Well, okay. All right. All right. There's, there's simple signs. Again, stealing Sharon's idea, I quickly Googled what Sharon told us to Google. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I'd be more than happy to work with Sharon Dunn. Uh, some, of them, some of them are, like I, I looked and they are in, uh, in wood and stuff, but those are like, they, they to me look like permanent signs that they were giving to the people and they were hammered into the ground and they're there for life. That's the only thing I'm concerned about is having to pull these up, put, you know, you know how hard the ground is in, in Connecticut and what you run into. That, that's, that was my only concern is, how do we get these in the ground easily? How do we pull them up, move them to the next location? That type oh, I, can of thing. I can tell you how you do that. And I'd be happy to help with it. You use a drill. Even if the ground's <laughs> frozen, a drill will open up a hole for you and put your signs in, pack it around it, and it will stay there. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so I think it would be nice to have um, a couple of ideas Sharon and then and then I don't know if you guys actually want to consult or if Jim should come up with it like we can share 
uh, the next meeting you could have two and he could have two. That's fine. I think the material, I think the material that we're going to put it on is what needs to be decided, right? I, I um, for instance, if we want our green background, we need to make sure whatever material that we use, you can uh -huh. have the green background. Um, if you don't want the green background, then you're probably a little bit more open to something like wood, um, you know, th that type of thing. Um, but yeah, I can tile quick with Jim on it separately. Okay. All right. That's good, Jim. It sounds good. It's in your capable hands. Okay. Um, all right. So eventually we're going to, um, also Sharon's going to try to work on having a little more up-to-date information on the Greater Broughton site. So it portrays what we're really actually doing these days. Um, I received a very nice um, email suggestion from Aline talking about, we had discussed the last meeting about um, uh, the town hall landscaping and are we going to have the money um, to, and the time, well, would we want to install a um, irrigation, which would be very pricey, and then each year would we want to install new annuals? Or would we maybe want to do some perennials? And Elise, Elaine suggested that, you know, if we plant bulbs in the fall, the area that uh, ha it has been suggested that we need to put annuals, we could have not only some perennials, but also the top of color that annual bulbs, not, they're, I, they're really perennial mm -hmm. bulbs, like daffodils or, we would, there's a lot of nice bulbs that we could plant there. Some people are very familiar with, and then there's some others that really look like just regular flowers. <laughs> they, they're not like tulips or daffodils, like it, or, or hyacinths that everybody's familiar with. So I thought that was a really nice idea, and I think we should, that would be something that we could mix in with some perennials and which we do a stock of containers too. So right. They can be integrated. Right. So. Right. But these are all things that can be planted and you don't really have to do a lot of watering once they're established. The 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 bulbs come up in the spring, then they die back in the summer, go dormant for the winter and come back again the next Spring. So I thought that was a really nice idea that you get that pop of color in the spring that we're looking for. And uh, without as much labor, without having to do worrying about water all the time. So thank you for that idea and we will be looking in. Um, I got a, a update from uh, Mark Berry. Um, he has a, we, we spoke at the last meeting, at our February meeting, about funding. He was asking for funding for artwork for five um, compact trash compactor barrels that they that the Parks and Rec is going to provide. And he told us where. Well, they they reworked it a bit. Um, he has adjusted the. Um, uh, locations for a couple of the barrels and the quantities. So the location of the barrels are going to be one at Coquana Plain Park, one at Esther Point Beach, one at Farquhar Park, and one at Deerfield Park. So we went from five to four. He said park staff raised some concerns about the units getting jammed in areas of high volume of trash. So we decided to scale back for this year to test the effectiveness of the containers before expanding the scope. So that would bring, we had voted to spend $1,500, that would bring it down to $1,200. Um, I don't think we, I would suggest that we not amend the motion at all at this point because they're not going to be a little bit before they move ahead. And um, certainly spending $1,200 instead of $1,500, I, I can't imagine anybody would have a problem with that. And uh, what if he then decides, oh, actually, park staff also found another place that needed one. So I prefer to keep it at $1,500 for now, and then we will see what happens. I know that he's been advertising 
he's been looking for um, uh, artists to come forward to um, put their art on these um, um, trash compactors. Had you heard about this, Dana? I have to tell you, I think I'm, I am getting about two thirds of what all of you say. It's like a strobe effect. I, I I don't know what it is because if Leanne can hear you and Sharon can hear you, I don't understand why I can't, but I can't. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay. I'm so thinking sorry. Of, uh, bowing out and, and reading your minutes. So just uh, okay. don't know what you're saying. Okay. Well, can you hear me when I talk to you directly right now? Right Hello? now I'm hearing it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to like, like I'm talking right to you because you are an accomplished artist and knowledgeable about that, but we. I'm not an artist. Here. I'm not an artist. Let's you get that clear. Bruce is an artist. I'm not an artist. I have okay. worked in the art field at art museums at the Metropolitan, okay. et cetera, but I'm not so an artist. You are knowledgeable <laughs> about art. Okay. Yeah. You're very knowledgeable. I'm sorry. Let's sit. I want to clear that up. Now you're I can't hear anything you're saying. I, you know, I believe you're very knowledgeable about art now. I mean, you can't hear? It goes in and out. It's like a strobe effect. It's very okay. odd. Well, Am I, I the only one who's getting that? I'm. Yeah. Le Leanne, are you getting that strobe thing no, too? I'm, no, okay. I'm fine. All right, well, Dana, no. I'm, I'm, I'll just need to give you a ring. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to call you. <laughs> I will call you, okay? Okay, all right, thanks. <laughs> um. So, um, is that, I believe there, so Deerfield Park, there's a, this is, I believe, where it is. There is a, a development called Deerfield, right off of 184, and I believe if you go all the way in, that is where there is a um, Frisbee. So, you know, yeah, that's oh, called Deerfield. Cop, okay, cop, it, that is property. Deerfield. Okay. Near Cop property. No, 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 further no. Down. way, way down. down. And okay. it's that you go all the way into the development and they have a, um, the, 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 the frisbee golf. Okay. okay. Frisbee then, golf. Okay. Yeah. And then the far far, you know where that is. Yeah. South yeah. yeah. All right. So I just wanted to let you know that, um, that's like information <laughs> that, that Mark, I got from Mark. Um, and then I'm just going to mention this briefly. We don't have to do anything about it right now but it had been the town council had been talking about doing some holiday decorations i guess a, a number of people had uh residents had suggested holiday decorations along route one in rotten um there are however no place to put holiday decorations as far as ha hanging because there are it's all telephone poles so that uh we're gonna have to figure that out uh, can right I now. can I can I make a suggestion? I, I guess yeah. Wait one second. I, so well, the one thing I did that I talked with um, John Burt about, and he said, could we at least get a uh, wreath? And I said, yes, we'll get you a wreath this Christmas, a nice big wreath on the front of the town hall building. So, anyways, um, go ahead, Leanne. Well, some time back, it's been a long time, but we had uh, what we called. Uh, the white lights, and um, I'm I'm, I'm willing white lights. I'm sorry. white white, white lights, and we had all of downtown Groton had white lights running across the front of their buildings. Some then decorated windows and whatever. And I'm willing if if somebody put together a letter for me, I will go from manager to manager and see if we can get them to look into the cost and putting up white lights on the buildings. And I, I think we might get quite a bit of cooperation because it looked pretty desolate last Christmas, downtown Groton. And uh, I think it would be nice if we could bring that back. I think then that's what John concurred with that kind of idea. But just to me, that seems like a that's private property and businesses and stuff. So I, I didn't know if we as a committee would have, and that's a huge job. Uh, they, they had hoped that uh, public work could be putting stuff up and taking it down, but you certainly can't if it can't go anywhere near a telephone pole, and which is really an electric pole, right? No, actually you can. Groton Utilities owns all those poles. There was some confusion in the past as to who actually owned them. 
and Groton Utilities owns them, and they might very well work with us to uh, decorate them asked, in some manner. Yeah, I asked John. John said no, and I cannot imagine they would have anybody from, I certainly wouldn't want myself or my spouse to be putting up things around all those high electric wires, not just cell phone wires, right? Anyways, I'm, I, I just wanted to let you guys know about it. I don't know what will happen about it, um, but uh, it's, it, they're talking yeah. about it. So I know Leanne worked on the, uh, with the, I think it was the chamber, Leanne, with the yeah, Groton Business, Groton Business uh, Association, GBA. So maybe, so maybe a letter, I can design a letter if you want, can be sent to the business association to come up with a plan. We have plenty of months to do it and I can help you on the side and come up with a plan to really plan something for that. Christmas time, because I think it's time that we do it. People, remember I asked you last year, are they going to do it a parade or whatever it was? And it was just after COVID a couple of years, so nothing was done. I think this right. year something should be done, but I don't know exactly what it is. And I understand the concerns about utility poles. There must be something that we can have maybe each of those five shopping centers and we can approach the larger shopping centers perhaps and get those owners. I don't know if they have to have permission if the individual stores need to coordinate with the owners and what their restrictions are. For example, I believe, don't quote me, Big Y has restrictions on what can be posted outside any of their property, yeah. you know, contractual right. language. And, and it was very specific. This wouldn't be Christmas, it would be holiday. Holiday, so, right. We you know, um, uh, winter time, winter time uh, celebration. I just, I'm not sure what it is. I think the lights are a great idea and utility. Perhaps we can still approach the Brown Utilities to see if they have an, an idea that perhaps could be done to brighten up that. Because I think we really need that um, focus. We are beautification, but it doesn't just mean flowers, which we love the flower the trees, flowers, the trees, the birds, and the bees. But we also need a little bit more community focus, which I think was something that we hadn't focused on because we want to get the things, the yeah. planting, yeah. and all that, which was good. But it's a great idea. I think that something can be done. I don't know what it is, but perhaps we can work together on that plan if you want okay. to. Okay. Yeah, that'd be there, fine. There, there was an interest last year from Outer Light Brewery that I yeah. catched. I, I guess there was a discussion with the city on if they could even do that. But I talked to the, the owner there, and he was very much he was willing to donate an area to put up a tree and he was even talking about getting the tree but the city shut him down but he's mm -hmm. he'd be willing to i i think he would be very willing to listen to a town wide yeah. grabbing his idea That's yeah and so with this if we decide i don't know if we have to make a motion to do it or just in the background of the report at the next meeting if i'm coming to to do that or the new person would you want to? Is there going? Are there? Would there possibly? If there's money that would have to be voted on, right? All that right. and have to be town council. So that's why we, I wouldn't want. I just wanted to bring it up. But John said, "Yeah, we, uh, we're probably not gonna." I just wanted to bring it up. Yeah. Oh, we don't get have it to. in the works. Get it going. Yeah. Somehow, if well, we can. If, if there's support. Yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe we'll. If that's okay, if I can interject, if we could maybe think of the plan what you think the focus might be, or land, if you have any ideas, because you've been very active in that business uh, development. Um, you have a lot of contacts, and I can be right beside you and work with you on that, and then maybe come back to the committee and say, this is what we've got, town council, RTM, zoning issue, if there's any zoning issues. This is what the beautification committee, for example, recommends. We'd like to get the input, the community, go from there. Yep, it's fine. I'll be home in a couple of weeks and uh, we oh. could get together and I see what we can. Time. I beg your pardon? I hope you're having a good time. Oh my I'm God, it's been, it's been wonderful. Good. A, a little sad at the beginning, but wonderful. My yeah. neighbors here yeah. are great. Yeah, lovely. We um, have our meeting. We have our meetings in the pool. Oh, full uh -huh. side meeting. All fun. right. <laughs> Rub it in. Um, does anybody else have any communication? Okay, Aline. 
um, the town had started a tree inventory. Hall. Right, tree inventory, yeah. And then the on the uh, timeline, <coughs> uh, they were supposed to report what it would look like, what mm -hmm. kind of trees, if uh, any were to be planted, where some that were being removed or trimmed mm -hmm. or whatever. And that was supposed to happen in March. So I called Mark to figure out if there is a date for it. Mm -hmm. I didn't get an answer from him, but I will keep trying to okay. see uh, if, because I think if, uh, if they have a meeting, we should uh, probably be aware of it. Yes, absolutely. And uh, the other part is, the uh, person who is working on the corner of Route 1 and Depot Road. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I saw on Facebook that uh, his name was James Patrick, uh -huh. and he was open to suggestions in terms of landscaping. Well, I you know asked, what's going in there? I asked the town if they, uh, if anybody, if anybody knew what was going in there, and at the um, uh, communication gathering that uh, there was at the, the um, museum, the uh, economic, development. economic development meeting. Um, I was told that nobody approached the town yet. So that was on the 22nd of February. So they just took all those trees down and just took the lot. Right. So nobody knows exactly what's happening. Or maybe okay. they know it's recent, but at the 22nd February, no idea. Okay. Right, right across from uh, the airplane. Oh, it's, oh, you can't. Yeah. You can't. Oh, well, it's it's I've, I've got so much going on on Long yeah. Hill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We all say, like Oh, my God. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. real quick. I did have to cut We actually won't go last week. We did have a unofficial get together. I, um, asked um, Greg Hanover was very gracious to me and I talked to him about possibly trees and this is kind of separate from the beautification but I think it should be publicly stated that uh, we were trying to see what type of movement we could do either individually or you know as a committee because we had talked about that when they were pretty much a very simple thing so I didn't do that and he said there, there's a possibility that we could start with some streets but I haven't heard from back from him. I think he had to wait for the inventory. So mm -hmm. now, if we have the inventory, it might be a good time to possibly start to target some streets. And I don't know if, you know, that's another agenda item. But I would suggest for the future committee is to try to start doing that in the business district. Somehow, whatever we can do. Oh yeah. We got a lot of new businesses going in. Yeah. which will be zoning regulations, which hopefully they will put all the tree, necessary trees for buffers in the neighborhoods and all that. Right. Well, well that's why this March meeting was supposed to, yeah. to, to be held to get more input. Right. And so that would be nice. To exactly. Okay. Oh, so what happened oh, to... Leanne oh, no. has somehow... Leanne seems to be gone. Why? There. Sharon, Leanne is not here right now. I don't know. If that was purposeful or, or I'm still answer. I'm still here, right? Yes, you're yes. still there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I had so I had a little I had a little difficult time. Oh, yeah. I had a little difficult time with what Aline was talking about with the corner of Depot Road and Route One. So all trees were taken down or something or oh, Sharon, wait till you see right, you know, so there's the the um Across from Johnson and uh, the yeah, yeah. We, were, we were talking about that last time, right? Yeah, so that that actual house is still there. That's the same. Right next to that, you know, there's some businesses, but there was yeah. a little gap. Yeah. And all of the trees have been taken down, so you can look right into the neighborhood now. I mean, like right. all the people who have the privacy, the probably the first street in off of Depot Road, <laughs> they're facing. Uh, route one hour. So, um, Roscoe Merritt had told us, or told me, anyways, when I ran into him, that somebody had purchased all that land. That's what yeah. I heard also. But I thought he, I thought he just meant the the home. No, no, the, the the little. I thought the whole little um, uh, shopping little area there too is uh, what I understood. So, um, so yeah. So if you were standing in Johnson's, looking that way. 
between the house on the corner and the end of the building. It's just all the trees are gone. Well, I must have something planned there. And just a quick aside, quick aside for everybody who is watching or out there. There are so many projects of meetings going on with the town right now for land development, land use. It's extremely important. If anybody wants to attend, they had one at Benny's with all the public input and output. There are, that's a little off the subject, but it involves the beautification and it involves the development of Broughton and that balance. So anybody, please go to those meetings and voice your concerns in your neighborhood because there's a lot of new uh, proposals for gas stations and convenience stores and uh, oil change facilities right along Route 1. So I think they had a planning and zoning meeting tonight. So go to those meetings, voice your concerns because this is the time to do it. Don't wait because once it's already through, legally it's very hard to reverse it. Hopefully these will be great additions, but that's a whole other subject. Right, right. I think we have plenty of those things to tell you the truth as a resident. Anyways, yep. Yep, there you go. Okay, <laughs> just saying it. Yep. Anyways, um, any other communications? Not coming. Okay, thank you, Lean. I'm, I let us know, um, like if you could send out an email if you can find out because yep. I, if they have a presentation, I want to make sure I know it that way. way. Um, very quickly, Treasurer's report, uh, uh, pretty much unchanged from last um, month. Uh, for our regular donation account, $5,631.89, which was the same as last month, uh, Sharon. Um, the town, excuse me, the town council. Uh, budget that, that comes from the town to us is slightly changed because there was a, a journal entry uh, error that has been um, found and um, uh, um, what am I trying to say? Corrected. And so now uh, our, our amount of money left in our town, town council amount is $2,907.09. So is the um, is there still is that including the NIP money? Was there still NIP? No, money? NIP money separate? is totally separate. Okay. Yeah. So that's how both get. I don't have them. any idea. Okay. okay. So um, that's just, just what we have in available funds right now. Um, uh, just as a reminder, the town council money, the twenty nine hundred dollars, will either get spent or returned to the um, town. Our own money that we've earned, the five thousand six hundred, is will just goes rolls. Uh, in perpetuity until we spend it. <laughs> um, moving on to unfinished business. Um, I have ARPA here because uh, I didn't realize that Bruce wasn't going to be here. I don't have anything regarding the uh, art sculptures that, uh, oh, that's, I'm lying. He did send me information that he wants to um, make a he had talked last month about uh, casting a broader um, net, and he sent me an email telling what the cost was. I think this is kind of a small group to, to vote on funds for that at this time. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a broader project. So it's you know it's for the ARPA. He, he, oh, the so he's trying okay, to right, get right, yeah. people. Uh, Sculpture. He wants to get people to um, submit, to apply. Okay. And so he's just been doing it for free, and right. he wants to um, actually. I don't have the email. Darn it! That was the one thing I was well, so organized. We, we can okay. talk about it. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So he would need us to release some funds for him to cap the uh, net further and look for uh, sculptures. But I don't have anything else, anything with regards to ARPA. Okay, now I don't know if this, I know when the um, submarine uh, sale. The memorial, the, yeah. the sale is uh, uh -huh. going to be developed. There was talk about maybe some beautification of that. I know Jim Streeter presented a great presentation on that, and I had heard that there might be some coordination or that they might be requesting us. I don't know. I think that would be a good thing if they are looking for that after it's done, or if that might be in the future. And I don't know the funding. How right. Yeah. Work. Yeah. We we are not involved with the sale. However, part of the some of the places that he because they have a 
budget for their landscape and everything. Um, so I don't want to say it was not to be. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. But the um, the what what they were looking at was some of the places where he wanted where we were hoping to place sculptures might be impacted by the sale. Oh, so okay. that may have changed some um, uh, placement. placement exactly. Oh, um, so, but that's we have to get the sculpture first. Got it. And or, or I don't know what you do first. And then if there, well, the other part of that equation is, well, the question is with the council, um, last council, appointing or developing a, uh, an arts commission, right? which there haven't been any people stepping forward, that might be an area I might want to switch over to, but I kind of have to see if there's going to be you know, this community, gonna, community going to support that commission and how would we develop right. that and Bruce would be right. a possible key player in that. Right, right, exactly. And then that would be funding that way, you know, yeah. and, but it's yeah, all yeah, the yeah. beautification over here. So yeah. But that's the thought of the yeah. future. Yeah, we had talked about that at yeah. a meeting quite a while ago about um yeah, you don't have duplication. You don't right. we don't have enough people to have duplication. Right. Unless we throw it. Right. <laughs> um and then the other, the next, I don't, I don't really have anything on NIPS except that Missy did let me know that um, it looks like we will, the fish will be made at, um, that, that that will probably be Clint's last project. That was what she told me. I have not spoken with Clint, so I probably shouldn't even say that publicly, but um, uh, his last large project, that was what she told me, but I have not spoken with him. But it will, hopefully we will be able to get the fish finished. Mm -hmm. Not we, he, and the, the committee will be able to get it. And then she, uh, Missy also had some ideas about signage because we want to have a sign in front of the mm -hmm. fish talking about litter and plastic. But we'll have to uh, continue to work with that. There's some really good information out there. Um, and we also have to, she called it, she had a name for it, but we have to decide if we're going to name them something. Oh, the fish. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, so, and I and I I forgot my phone, and I have all my I have my you know emails on there. So I for but but uh, she is working on it. With um, the um, oh, this could be uh, your, but going back to the mural for a second. Um, with Bruce. Was there a definite time frame on the CBS? They approved that apparently, but was there some legal thing going on that they didn't approve, or there was some language? We, we, he has stepped away. We've stepped away from the meeting. Oh, okay. So that was up the meeting. That I yeah, yeah. Out. So right. the ARPA funds it could be sculpture or murals. He decides. So it's not. Okay, we're going to go Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the adopt a road date is. April 19th, right? April 19th. Take it away, Aline. Check with flag. No competition there. So okay, good. For ourselves. Okay. <laughs> and so far. Is 10 to 12, was that what you No, we, uh, the setup, I mean, it would be nice if uh, someone could come a little bit before 10. Right. We would set up the signs and um, uh, just to, to get ready when yes. people come. Of course, of course. Uh, I'll go pick up the whatever the supplies so the, 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 the zippers, the plastic bags. You have to wear a vest and everything. Yeah, right. But yeah. well, the town just bought by those. So which roads is that? That's deep road. Deep road oh, and industrial road. Industrial road, okay. So I think we could plan on get, uh, getting together at 930 something, between 930 and it's actually, but, but it's going to be started, started at 10, and, and but we, by, by noon it would be done. Yeah. I mean, clearly it doesn't take more than that. Yeah. So I had uh, prepared a little signing sheet. All right, I'll sign that. Like I'll, be the, I'll be the second one on the list okay. after Aline. So if you want to put your phone number so I can text uh, if uh, it's I want a news article, but I can do it. I can get a news article out there. I don't think we need to have too many people because uh, we, it's, it's, it's not going to be a group. Yeah, just that yeah. it's happening. It's, it's our group. Yeah. That's, and uh, and it's I think our project and uh, people can do oh, it's a Friday. Uh, it's perfect. Um, around the day, or, yeah, whenever they want. They just yeah. form a little group and go for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with that, that, now with Sharon had mentioned. Um, 
something, a possibility with um, a state, was it a chair? Sharon, what was the thing that you had mentioned about the other project on Route 17? Oh, that? no, well, it's a small group here to discuss with though, but um, are you talking about with the cleanup? Right, yeah. is that separate? Oh. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So last, last um, I think it was October, uh, Jim and I and another individual, Kim, Kim had attended a, uh, it's a Mystic to New London cleanup that is put on by the Mystic Chamber of Commerce, the Eastern Chamber of Commerce in partnership with uh, Revolutionary Wind and Eversource. So that was um, like a multi-town type? It was, it was Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce. Chamber right? of Commerce, yeah. So, oh, okay. um, okay, I'm getting, I'm having a hard time. What day was that? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. It was in October. Oh, um, okay. So that's further down. Okay, no problem. Well, well uh, okay. Well, I don't know. I just remembered that, so with the email. So. Okay, so what I had asked about was the possibility, um, because uh, Heather Summers spoke at it and everything, and they said they want to keep this expanding. Um, last year, Jim and I went with Bruce Flax, and we did Route 1. Uh, Route 1 required a police escort because it was a state road to clean up. Uh, they had done that the year before. And he said this year it wasn't as bad, obviously, because they cleaned it up the year before and that they need to look for new roads. So my thought was they have to pay for the police. And it's like 500 bucks or something to get the police um, uh, escort on a state road. So I was thinking that if we have roads that we want to see cleaned up, I know we're not in the business of doing all the cleanup, but if we can assist an organization by providing money and maybe asking, can you also do Route 117? Can, can that be one of the chosen roads this year or Route 12, whatever we decide? They work with the state. They get all that done. All we would be doing is providing financial assistance for the police escort. And then, of course, if any of us want to show up, even if we didn't, it's part of the, you know, that's going to be one of the roads that will be cleaned up. Last year, they also did River Road. Well, that's been adopted by, by Groton. So that's not going to be done this year by that by that group. And it's an international cleanup day or something like that. So that was, yeah. Yeah, I think I love that idea because we've talked so much about cleaning up that part of 117. And I know our hands have been tied a wee bit because it is a state road. So right. if we could do it in conjunction with this cleanup day and have the police escort on a state road, then we kind of get to think, we could sink our teeth into a, an area that's been bothered a lot of us. It has really bothered Bruce for a long time. It's really bothered Missy for a long time and, and the rest of us too. Um, so I just, I love that proposal, Sharon. And um, yeah, when you get back, would that be a reach out to Bruce Flex? But I remember you also said you don't want to, you know, if, don't want to step on anybody's toes, right? No, so so I think there's two different things here. I mean, Bruce is talking about cleaning up, going up the on and off ramps. I don't think they're going to let us do that ever, right? Uh -huh. This is right. this is just to clean up main roads. So uh -huh. um, I, I think there's those are two different two different projects. Um, unless they find out that the state, when they do the on off ramp, will also go all the way down. Route one seventeen. I, 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 he was going to find somebody's. Nancy was going to find that out, right? Right, right. So this, this, if if that's not the case, if we don't go with something like that, and they don't clean up Route one seventeen, I think we could ask Bruce, uh, Flax. You know, can we? The beautification committee would like to give you some money for police escorts. Could you please make sure, blah blah blah, road is in it. And if it's not one seventeen, there's always Route twelve. There's always one eighty four. There's always Route one that needs to be done. Yeah. Okay. Continue on. Let's make a motion now. Or wait. I don't think we have to. No, we don't have to really there's, move it. There's no money involved. There's, <laughs> there's, there's also I've noticed for me reading the interstate road uh, requirement <laughs> the advisory that trying to get people to donate money. Well, I've seen. I've done two trips along 95. Uh huh. And. Mayor Parkway, 
I've never seen an independent company that the state list that you have to hire. I've always, it's in the past two months, it's always state trucks, mm -hmm. which flabbergast me that we're paying state workers to do this. Mm -hmm. And I want to, I'd be willing to even contact Heather Summers to say who is, because it's going to be statewide, who is actually doing these cleanups. And why would the town be paying, why would businesses be paying the state when we're paying the state workers? So, yeah, that's a question. I, I, and, 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 and if we're paying the state anyway, so I, but so, so I, I see where you're going with that, and I hadn't thought about that. I've got to tell you, recently I have also seen a state truck with. Guys, cleaning up, and I'm all I could think was, thank the Lord. You know, I'm sorry they do it in many other states. I don't know why we don't do it here, but and I don't know how much money they make, but I don't know why it shouldn't be a priority in this town as or this state as well as it is in other states. Well, and I think if if there's really other companies taking away that there's these two companies that are certified, if uh -huh. we're really doing it with state workers. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. So that's that's where I would begin uh -huh. with permission. I'd like to like contact somebody in the state and say, okay. Well, explain it to me. I mean, if you you, you can do it even just as an individual, yeah, right? Okay. But or and certainly, yeah. this, I'm working with a committee, and I was told this. And a what is the action to call? And I called myself. Have not gotten. I emailed the state when we had the meeting divider on Long Hill uh -huh. Road, which yep. you know, we yep. reported on that, and I appreciate that. That they won't do like meeting or something, but then they're on the sides of the roads, cutting back things, so they just won't do certain areas. They're telling yep. us. Yeah, that's part of our town, and that's part of State Road. So you, I, I don't know how we can address that, and I think it needs to be answered because we pay our taxes, and we need to have roads that are good, but we also need to have surrounding the roads that are appropriate because it can become a hazard, well, and it, it attracts it, businesses, yeah. or it doesn't attract businesses, yeah. and people want to pay all that. Whole thing. Yeah, case. Right. It goes on and on. But I think it's a great question. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a good observation mm -hmm. too, so. too, because we have been talking about. Lot. And so you're told one thing. And I can make a call if you want to do a joint letter, you a joint letter or something like that. Um, they just don't respond. So, so when I get back, I mean, maybe we can talk to Bruce Flax and see what he thinks. You know that. that yeah, that's a, because it's very proactive. That and that way we don't have to even involve anybody except. No. The from yeah, and it's not really even the beautification committee. That's it. We're just right. we're just participating. Right. And, right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thank you, Sharon. Right. Thanks, Sharon. You may want to have a letter from the committee saying, can you please like, start being like more um, assertive and say, you know, if the committee really wants this done, can you, and, you know, they'll start going beyond our boundaries. We want, <laughs> we want this. I know you're trying to do it. It's better to come to the individual than come to the I know. Have the phone on. I, know. I yeah. think it's like, very I, difficult to get people to do people to do things, unfortunately, sometimes. And uh, let's say, not people, let's say entities to work <laughs> together to make things work. Right, right. All right, Are we have uh, one piece of typed up new business, or anybody have any unfinished business that they need to bring up? That I, because I didn't have a lot. Yeah, things that just keep going and going. Um, but under new business, I got a very nice letter from um, Shirley um, Mitso. And um, this is, I, I unfortunately have not yet spoken to, to Mark Berry about Calvin Grove Fields. I'm sorry, I feel, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Um, so this is, um, this was um, to myself from Shirley saying, and she, she says, um, dear Cindy, we landscaped Par 4 where the adults play. We should landscape Burroughs Field where the children play. I have drawn up a plan for that area and asked that the Beautification Committee support this project. 
we will need approval from Mark Berry. I will forward a copy of the plan and request for approval to Mark immediately upon being notified of the committee's decision. And I haven't, and so she um, wrote up, you know, uh, Shirley is a certified uh, landscape designer and um, she, um, you know, picked out plants, um, mostly native pollinators and some shrubs that she liked to put in there. I, I, unfortunately, she could not be here tonight, so she wanted me to present. However, um, it's just, so, it's, okay. no, it's just the, the one okay. deep sloping area. Oh, okay, because that isn't a um, uh, building coming down that we designed it? Yeah, it has nothing, it's, it's to okay. the okay. left okay. of there, okay. yeah. Okay. So, um, she could, so I, I don't know what her time frame is. It's a, it's a fairly steep slope. I don't know how well that was going to be need to be watered. Obviously, I need, so um, we have a pretty small um, group here. Uh, I think I would even like to talk with Mark ahead of time. I luckily just uh, ran into Greg Hanover before the meeting started and asked him about it. He said it, it shouldn't have anything to do with that slope there that we were talking about planting. Um, oh, he's saying not that. Yeah, it's, it's, they are going to be redoing the bathroom and making it ADA okay. compliant. And then, but it shouldn't run into this. So here's the bathroom over here. Oh. The over here is. Uh, so it, I was just wondering, you know how sometimes when they're doing construction, they run over yeah, dirt, like soil? That. So, but, but, and, and, um, and he, we were just told by Greg that it's not going to be until July. They do that. They probably got to get through so most of it. Even if it's in the planning stages, there's time. Yeah, I just it. it's a it's a challenging sloped area. If and if Shirley thinks it can be done without terracing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't see any. I say at, at, least, yeah, she, at least four it. Yeah. To Mark to right. see if he's oh absolutely so I would say get that started uh -huh. now rather than later no I think that's why she yeah. wanted she didn't want to wait yeah. till April yeah. the yeah. April meeting she wanted for me to present it now um, it, it's so interesting I don't think anybody is against it there's it's just so questionable and um, but if she's doing mostly native um, plants. Um, um, once they're in, um, you know, they'll they 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 go along their merry way. But it's just is, isn't it that what the Zoe was talking about? That, that, that was one of them, but she didn't have a plan to do it. She right. was I have right. friends, right. whatever that would be doing. willing, but mm -hmm. again, she needed someone to lead the process. But but also so if. So the other possibility is that this gets organized and then we bring them in and say, let's take a date and we're going to tell you because surely no, you know, she, she has the skills. She can instruct people right. how to do that. They might need more Berry to pick in some bigger, heavier equipment to help us out. Yeah. And the one interesting thing I've been finding out is that the more you dig, the, the more you disrupt the soil, you more in the spring of the weed season. So sure. it's much better to like dig a little hole, but but yeah, you're right. There, you know, it's it's a steep slope, and then there's kind of at the top there's the road. Yeah. So um, it, you know, a professional could do it very easily, but we're not. I mean, surely a professional. I, I don't think uh, I didn't see any blocks or anything like this behind the some part uh -huh. of the uh -huh. I mean, No, but. Been, this, I'm just saying it would be good to have, okay, here's tape work, here's suggestion, what's yeah. your opinion? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, and we can, yeah, I mean, all, probably almost all, if not all of these are available. You know, we work with um, the wholesale nursery in <clears throat> Lebanon and uh, Price Corner, and, and they have just fantastic plans. No. Yeah. Um, we, yeah, we've I'll, been there many times. I'll, I'll drive up with you. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Drool, drool on their plant. But, but, but that's right. And Mark, contact the parks group or whoever yes, it is. Yes, exactly. So that's where 
we can start the ball, the ball rolling with yeah, the, the plan. what it sounds like. Yeah. And that's also, we have another landscaper in town who kind of wanted to help out. And I have, I, uh, Rachel will ask me to reach out to him, and I keep forgetting. So he is a professional landscaper, so he also might be. Uh, so this, this project, I mean, planting is this type of thing, is probably more in fall. Is she, was she uh, thinking of doing that? Before the summer? That, well, so this is the interesting thing since she's not here. Right? And I texted uh, her, I said, Oh, I look forward to hearing about it. And she said, I'm not going to be there. And so I did. I decided I wasn't going to ask her a whole bunch of questions. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, it sounds like people are supportive and now I should talk with Mark. And, um, and then oh, kind of, and then when I get to talk to um, uh, Shirley, I'll say, Well, there was definitely interest. In what do you have in mind? Um, if she, there's no huge rush, if, but um, she might have been thinking to try to get this submitted though before our money was, right. before the, before the year. Yeah. year. Yeah. It, 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 it would make the parking front and a 15 minute job to do all this at Sherwood's, which is good, but we can get bodies, and the Little League was very interested in supporting uh -huh. Zoe, uh -huh. so it could be a maybe Maybe we can make the recommendation, if that we do do this, that they could look for some fundraising, you know, that they right. just yeah. can do yeah. fundraising for this to help out with the yeah. cause. Right, and a year, when she came for the very first time, they said that they wanted to do that. That was the whole part, piece of it. So... But I would like to get more information. I can because I can look up the plants and just even say how much the plants alone would cost. I don't know. This is this is so beyond my scope yeah. as a plant lover. And but the 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 actual area is beyond my ability to do anything other than just say okay, it, we can do it. And where do you want the plant? You know, <laughs> it's um, and also. Uh, talk about the maintenance because the maintenance yeah. there. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of weeds. So how do we keep the weed right. separate from? Anyways, all right. These yeah. are lots of questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, cool. Yeah, get the ball moving. Um, yeah. And then I did get a text from Missy House today. She couldn't attend today, but she would very much like to work at the top of Fort Hill um, on those islands. Um, and she says she wants to get it, she would like to organize it in early May, um, to get the police escort out there and to some of us, as well as some of the, her friends who live down in, um, uh, Rock Long Point, um, to do a project removing weeds and adding, um, native, um, so that is something she is proposing, um, but I'm sure we'll hear more about that in um, at the next meeting. And I'm I'm still not convinced they're going to let us do that, but Missy is pretty sure that 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 she can make it happen. And I certainly that would be 100% behind it. Um, I um, I wonder. I uh, know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, just don't get all that. Well, the guy answered. Missy met met with him. So. Oh, she did. Uh, yeah. She did met she, with him. I I know that, that she had she had. I didn't team. think she. I thought she or, just had. I thought she talked with at the last meeting. I thought she said she spoke with them, and he said we can do anything we want, as long as we have the police there. Oh. Oh, I. Which was not what. I, but did she physically meet with them? Do that. Tell she said. Who was the person? She met did. with them, but that uh, was theirs not. and not for us. I it thought. Was what? Oh, for individuals, it, but not it, for. It, it was for the state to do, but and we could. But more or less touch it. Well, that, yeah. that that is what I got last year. They were going to come and trim it. Yes. And what he'd really like to do is just remove black all the vegetation and black pop it. And I thought, okay. I won't, I'm not going to complain anymore because that's yeah, the worst thing that. you want to do. Um, more, more, you know, heat islands, just what we want. Right. Um, so more materials for that. More but, for the state. <laughs> however, the the funny thing was, Andrew, 
group is that I got the name of this gentleman who uh, works in, he works for the state in Groton. I asked him within a week, they come and trimmed everything down. Now they're not gonna take out everything that's in there. I mean, they just go over it. They don't, right. you know, just like they did near where you are. They just yeah. cut everything Which down. Which they hadn't done last year, um, the year before they did. But, it, right, and so problem. they just cut it all down that and they don't, they're indiscriminate. So I guess people were feeling well, it's better than um, everything uh, coming all over the place. So last year, it was nobody ever asked, and he, they didn't do anything. So then I you didn't even do the road correctly, and you almost hit so, into the when you hit the traffic light, going into the middle of the divider. So I just I I, I found it interesting, but yeah, we it's will see. That's we'll a great, see. That's a great. Um, yeah. and the other thing is, is there's a cost that the police aren't just going to come and do this for us. I don't believe. I believe there's a cost. Although they are very happy that we did, we planted the garden in front of their, but I, I don't know. So there, will, there will definitely be a cost for the police, just like for the cleanups. And they have to get a minimum of four hours or something, uh -huh. uh, union requirements. Right. There will be a cost, I'm sure, for the police. Yeah, yeah. So so um, we will have to vote on that when, when we have a proposal. And I, I mean, I think we've heard at many committee meetings this area, one was the top of Fort Hill, you know, for those yeah. state roads, and yeah. the other one was like the Long Hill area. And then I think there was another one, that, well, the exit, but we may not get any um, movement on the exit. So maybe uh -huh. we could just say top of Fort Hill, median divider, and collectively vote on that. You know, whoever the but the, the hard thing is, though, is even if you do something <laughs> at the <laughs> top, I mean, I know. once a year, it's going to be mowed down. And I that's know. about it. You're not going to be able to go in there and weed. dangerous spot. Very dangerous. Spot. I would not be running Very across nice. there with water bottles to water. It's really dangerous there.
Well, so, I did. I think I did pretty good notes, so I'll do it the best I can. Yeah, without yeah. So, and, and also, just uh, you know, you don't just general yeah. outline form. I mean, it took me a really. It's hard, but you don't don't have to give too much information if you don't want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dana was after we talked about the art that she went off, and Leanne was well, right after we brought up the trees. Yeah, but I, I'm, gonna think, I'm gonna say around a, a mid mid meeting. I, I really, yeah. unless yeah. I can find it yeah. on a part that's recorded. Nobody is going to challenge yeah. you. Yeah, you're, you're good. Right. Can, can I bring up one new thing? I read that one town in Connecticut has opted out of NIPS. Opted out. Opted oh, out. Yeah. Would that be something we could ask council? To check into. What do you mean? I mean, no, the money they, for that? they no, they don't sell nips. There's one house. Oh, 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 no, they are not making nips money. I was like, why do you do No, no, they're not opting out, but they have stopped selling nips, and there's so a there's town in the northwest. Yeah. In the northwest. Yes, I think that I've been reading because I, so, I had read that they're they're you know the legislation passed. They're collecting the five cents, and even though they're spend giving all the municipalities the money, the the the, the problem doesn't go away. Yeah, so, yeah, so this yeah, town yeah. is saying, stop it, because and again, this is firsthand. With another thing I do, I'm finding more NIP office in the last week. Mm -hmm. Which is well, and they might not even be filled yeah. now. No, well, there's some there's, very long. Yeah, I know you're working. There, 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 there's Sorry, different I areas. And it varies that I walk a couple times a week, and I just got done in front of my neighborhood uh -huh. on Route uh -huh. One today, uh -huh. and I'm finding, and, and again, it's the snows melted it and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I have no trouble with it. Town Town Council did. We recommend if this town does it, but I don't know if I should like go and talk to the owner of Grand and say, would you guys? I think it's going to be tough. Five is, so. but he, he he can sell bigger bottles. He's 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 making a buck, buck and a quarter on these nips. If he but sells the bigger bottles, yeah. is he losing that much money? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah I, I, and then those end up on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, it's, um, well, it's, it's it's never it's, ending. It's, the the other thing I would I this, I found really interesting. I was walking with my I have two friends I walk with. We were talking about the nip bottles, and I had picked up a couple, and they said something. Oh, do you, and they were like, "Oh, throw it in this recycling bin on somebody's uh, that was sitting out." And I said, "No, these aren't recyclable." They're like, "What do you mean?" I said, "These are trash. They are not recyclable." They're like, "What do you mean?" I said, "They're too small." So one of my friends was like, "I had no idea." So I went and looked it up, and yes, there. First of all, there's Number one, number two, and number five are the only plastics around that are sometimes recycled. And the little, little small things are not recycled. They just gum up the work. So it doesn't matter what they're made out of. They're too small. You have to put them in the trash. So I realized that a lot of people don't even understand that. They, and that might be a... They still think it's just a process. Yeah, they think it... But and you you cannot I think there's one place in Maine anyways we're we're getting off the yeah, topic I don't want you to continue to have to take um subject because yeah you know which but, to attack yeah them. but yeah. but everybody who listens to this meeting nip bottles are not recyclable they are not returnable you must throw them in your trash bag them up in your trash <laughs> otherwise they will end up where they don't belong so um anyway um. All right, all right. Well, I mean, I mean, I love that suggestion, and they are talking about it in the legislature. And unfortunately, some of the legislators like, oh, what's well, doing such a great job, and everybody loves it, but it's but not, it's not. Money for, for it's, nip bottles. Yeah, yeah. Well, as, as long as there's no machine to pick that, then the problem yeah. is still going to be yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. There, there are some machines, but they are not in New York. There are some uh, machines that I'll use. Mm -hmm. But uh, by the time they get approved, uh, yeah, 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 and also just junk. Anyway, yeah. all right. Um, would anybody like to, anything else? Can we adjourn? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
753. So we are going to adjourn. Aline made the motion and Andrew seconded. Um, anybody opposed? <laughs> All right, so it carries 300. <laughs> Um, all right, so this meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming. And I will, then our next uh, meeting is here. It's going to be a hybrid meeting on April 4th. I imagine that neither Sharon nor Bruce will be back yet, but they will be thinking about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll be here on Zoom like I am now. Yes, well, we appreciate it. We appreciate all your hard work. Thank you. The answer is three weeks, so she may not be. I can I can delay uh, yeah. if you need another yeah. month. I can I can always delay another month. All right. Well, Bye. thank you so much. Over and out. See ya. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye.